Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, uh, so we've already seen this binomial series. So make use of this to find the Taylor series of the square root of x centered at four. And as a clue, as a clue, um, you, you've got some. So you're going to have something to the power of a half. Square root is a power of a half, and this is your k here. So you can expand it. Well, anyway, do whatever you want. Find the Taylor series for for the square root of x centered at four. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, because we are centering at four, no matter what, we need we need x minus four. It, it, we need to put x minus four into here because we are centering it at four. So no matter what, so no no matter what, we need x. We need to put x minus four into here. So we need to put x minus four into here. So now, uh, but, but here's the thing, we are trying to investigate the square root of x, but this is no longer the square root of x. So we need to make the adjustment. So if we add 4, now this is exactly the same as this, but just written differently. So now uh, switch these two around, so, uh, so, and then factor out the 4. So that will then give you, that will then give you this. Because if, if you multiply this out, if you multiply this out, that will then give you x minus 4 plus 4. It's the same thing. So, um, so this can be rewritten as this. So, uh, so now you've got one block multiplying another block. So remember, square root of a times b. That's the same as root a times root b. So, uh, so that's the same as this. And then this thing here is uh, is the number two. And then, uh, and then here you've got this bubble here. Square root of the bubble is the same as the bubble to the power of a half. So now. Now you can make use of the binomial series here because this is off this form because you you've got your your k here and then you've got your one here and then you've got your bubble here you've got your bubble here so uh, leave this two for the time being but uh but this this is the same as um, is the same as this because you, you you're just making use of this whenever you have this you can you can you can jump to this. So from here, that will then take you to here. Now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So, um, so if you look at this bit here, if you have um, a over b to the power of n, that's the same as a n times b n. So that's so this can be rewritten as this. So now, uh, now again, just tidy this up. So, um, so move this across here, and then push the two into here. So push the two into here. And then move this across, and then uh, what you've got is this, and what's left is this thing here. So, uh, so that will then take you to here. And it's, it's just now; it's just a matter of tidying up. So, um, so you, you you should have a gut feeling that this will somehow cancel out with this even number, uh, and then you've got an even number here in a way. So you know you, you should have a gut feeling that the two will cancel out. Well, visualize the uh, four to the power of n as being two times two the power of n that will then give you this and then uh, and then that's the same as 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of n that will then give you this and then uh, and then and then uh, and then what uh, and then now now um, now this so you've got 2 to the power 2 over 2 to the power of n 2 to the power of n so um, so cancel it out so that will then become uh, n minus 1 so this gets minus by 1 this gets minus by one, uh, so that will then that will then give you this, and then now um, now now it's just adding the two together, so that will then give you two n minus two. So the square root of uh, the square root of x can be uh, can be written as this. So this is your series, okay?